Now, your KSBW weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. Quick recap on the temperatures today with a mix of sun and clouds, really, and low 60s. We definitely cooled off from yesterday, a lot of that due to the cloud cover coming overhead. And temperatures across the state now, 50s and 60s, 37 at the lake up in Tahoe, raining at lake level, snowing above that, and the temperature will drop down to 15 tonight. So whatever's a wet on the roads up there will freeze up. 46 tomorrow with low 60s in the Central Valley. And look at Palm Springs. They'll be at 78 tomorrow, so a little rebound there in the deserts for a pretty nice Saturday. Uh, here's the latest front. It's pretty weak, but we are getting some showers on the coast, and we're getting some snow up in Lake Tahoe down to Mammoth, which opened today, first day of the ski season here in California. Uh, we got one resort open. Here's the Doppler again, kind of zooming down uh, to where we are, and you can see the light showers came into the Bay Area earlier. They picked up a quarter to three quarters of an inch, so they did pretty good, but the front was weakening as it moved south as we expected, and you can see now the bulk of the moisture is actually pushing south uh, through the Monterey Peninsula and then heading down to Carmel Valley and down the Salinas Valley. All of this is very, uh, very light. Taking a quick peek at some of the amounts, we've had about a tenth of an inch in Santa Cruz, uh, 0.06 over in Watsonville at the airport. I looked up in the mountains there, of course, because we're going to be very uh, concerned and uh, watching the Santa Cruz Mountains burn scar very, very, very closely this winter. Uh, and they're saying 0.01 up on the mountain at Ben Lomond, but I looked uh, just now and uh, they're upwards of about a quarter of an inch, but that was over several hours. Uh, certainly not the kind of rain rates that would cause any issues. Uh, so we're not concerned about that this time around. But as I said, we will be watching all winter long. Uh, clouds and wind for us. Well, not a lot of breeze, but we might go 10 to 15 out of the south as this front continues to pass through. Uh, the rain pretty much dries up by morning. We also have patchy fog out there right now, which will probably be around in the morning. Uh, but quickly drying breeze out of the northwest tomorrow afternoon, and we're back to mostly sunny skies. Temperatures uh, pretty seasonable tomorrow. Next front coming into the Pacific Northwest, then into Northern California on Sunday morning. And going through Sunday evening, you'll notice maybe just some of the high clouds coming down to about the north coast, north of Santa Cruz, probably in the evening. But that's it. This one will pass us by in terms of rain showers. We won't see any wet weather out of that. We do have a winter weather advisory through 10 o'clock tonight, though. And chains have been up on 80, 50, and 88 if you're going through the Sierra. Uh, so again, it's either all-wheel or four-wheel drive or carrier chains, or you're not going to get through uh, for today. Forecast for tonight for us, mostly cloudy. We have a little bit of that light rain, drizzle, mist. Visibility is probably pretty low out there, so uh, watch yourselves on the roads. 42 to 45 overnight, so it's uh, kind of a chilly, damp, cold rain. Uh, low 40s and even some upper 30s possible later tonight if we uh, clear out a little bit, so we'll see how that plays out. Otherwise, for tomorrow, it looks pretty nice. 61 to 67. We've got mostly sunny skies. Seasonable temperatures now right about near average. 61, 60, 62. That takes you around the bay. Middle 60s, low 60s. San Jose, Hollister, 64. Gilroy, 66 down in King City. That's your warm spot. And about 60 up in the Santa Cruz Mountains. Your KSBW eight-day forecast. Sunshine really all the way through Monday. Pretty nice. And a little warm-up in temps too. Sunday and Monday, we've got a mix of 60s and some low 70s in the warmer spots. Then we've got another one of these weak fronts for shower chances. We'll be watching that one closely Tuesday and Wednesday. Again, that does not look like a big deal if you're looking at the forecast, which you should be if you're up on the burn scar, uh, getting an idea every week of what we're expecting. That is not one that we expect to cause issues, but forecasts do tend to change, so uh, we'll continue to watch that. 30s and 40s for your overnight lows. Again, next chance of rain showers after tonight will be on Tuesday night. All right, we'll look for it. Yep.